Hello everyone, this is Admiral Klerovsky bringing you Atlantic Fleet Battle of the Atlantic. Continued as Britain. Um, I can see something wrong here. Nope, that won't do. That will not do. Um, oh, by the way, I forgot my um, intro. Um, if you enjoy Atlantic Fleet content, uh, then do leave a like and subscribe. Helps to keep me motivated to make more videos. Right, um, but I had to put the um, the Rodney into port immediately. That couldn't really wait. I'm thinking, is there something else that we need to do or not? Or can we press on immediately? Uh, I will. I will do a quick torpedo check. I think just to make sure that everything is as it should be. So these guys are fine. Hmm. Three. Do you know what? I think it could. It, it makes a little bit of sense to quickly put one in now, and then when the Azinib one comes out, we can put the decoy in, and that will have the um, the Scarp Flow destroyers rearmed. How are you guys doing? Four and six. Fine, I'll keep you guys out for a little bit longer. Oh my gosh. Boreas, what have they done to you? Oh, just take a look at that. Main spotter, main radar, beta, and after period tubes destroyed. Right, so Boreas needs to head back then, it would seem. Doesn't look like medium damage to me. It looks like heavy damage, but... Whatever. Let's have a look in the UK. Uh, 6, 8, 6, 6. And then we're back to 6 again, I believe. Medium damage here, 8 hour is destroyed. Oh, it's fine. It's fine, I'll keep you in there for now. War spots and rest to uh, Yeah, you're quite alright with 8. Vanessa and Vanity. Could send the Vanessa in just qu really quickly, really quickly. Vanessa can just quickly hop across, get rearmed, and then head back out. Uh, Brilliant and Jackal. Yeah, looking quite well. Maybe not brilliant, but pretty good overall. Four and four. That's well, not ideal, but I'll I'll take it for now. Nine and six. Uh, Bulldog, you've got seven. Yes, because you're in port recently, I believe. Jaguar and Juno, you're on. Well, ten and nine. And then we've got the Jervis over here now. I can't remember if I said I'm going to have the Jervis just rotate round this general area, or if I'll have the Jervis assigned to a specific region. I think for now, what I'll do is I'll just have them rotate round. Right, I think we can carry on now. Iceland. Allied convoy attacks by submarines. 76,440 tons of merchant shipping sunk in week 1 of September 1941. So not a good start. Alright. So they've gone from... I'm going to assume that these U-boats that are in Iceland, or rather one U-boat, has tried to come down to the western approaches now. Because they were there, now now there's, there's an enemy contact here. Just one submarine. But anyway, we have our first engagement. It's in the western approaches. Week 1 of September 1941. The weather is partially sunny. The destroyer Saint Laurent, with light damage, is escorting a huge convoy of large freighters, uh, a T2 tanker, C3 freighter, C2 freighter, and a Liberty freighter. And this whole formation has come under attack in the morning from the submarine U-519, U-519 with the initiative.
this isn't a, this isn't a training exercise. We actually need to fire some proper shells, not just blanks all the time. But anyway, um, was it confetti they were doing? I don't know. But we do have a depth charge bomber. Yay! That means we can take care of the submarine very quickly and save the entire convoy from from bad things happening to it. Let's hope the air crews have functioning weapons. I think they will do that. Usually they do good with the weapons. Yeah. Let's see. I think the weapons were were working. They were they were operational. Right. Well, here we go. That's the. Um, yeah, we could leave that behind and just carry on our merry way. Action report on the British side. The destroyer San La Havre is, well, didn't receive light damage. Kept the light damage she had earlier, so sustained no further damage. And all of the merchant ships, the large freighters, T2 tanker, C3 freighter, C2 freighter and Liberty freighter, and the battle without a scratch. On the German side, the submarine U-519 was sunk for 1,032 tons. Nothing sunk in either category on the British side. Warship tons sunk on the German side, 1,032. Merchant ship tons sunk on the German side, zero. 1,032 renown earned. Pretty good, pretty good result, I would say. Convoy was saved. Right. We'll send Vanessa back of the West North Atlantic, or shouldn't it be Northwest Atlantic? I don't know. Probably should be. As Zinnibon has come out, so we'll send the... I'm tempted to just... I'll send the Blanche into Iceland anyway, just in case there is a submarine still here. Because you never know, maybe they were attacking in a group here, and they sort of you know, maybe one moved south and then some more stayed here. I'll send a destroyer up there to, um, well I have done, I've sent a destroyer up there to sort of try and see if there's anyone left there. Has anyone in decoy can, well, we need to put the decoy in full repairs now, so let's do that. And let's, oh we lost a square in the tonnage wall. We have, haven't we? One, two, three. Yes, we have. We're down to eight. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, hello. Week 1.5 of September 1941. In the East Greenland Sea, with partially sunny weather, the submarines Thetis and Triton, with Triton having medium damage and the Thetis having no damage at all, have intercepted it would seem an enemy contact in the afternoon is the destroyer Z19 and we have the initiative well this should be interesting then right so you're 6000 and the Triton is over here do you know what I'm low-key tempted just to keep you submerged for the time being oh you're, you're 8000 I'm guessing no air support no. Um, predictable. Without a 600. Right, what I'm going to do with you is is be a bit, bit brave. What I'm going to do is actually surface with you. Oh yes. And we'll open fire on the destroyer to try and persuade them to do... Well, to, to do something silly and that's to come back and, you know, say a thing or two to us. Oh, excuse me. Right, wind looks fairly strong actually, so I'll put the guns about here. Suggested elevation of 13.5. Light explosive shell. Oh, yeah, this should be interesting. Open fire. Shoot. There we go, that should get their attention. Ouch! Oof. 
Alright, well we're going to dive anyway now. How are we doing though? Pressure hold with heavy damage. Well, heavy damage destroyed all, I would say. Alright, maybe it was not so much brave as, as it was foolish that I surfaced. Let's dive away. What's their response going to be? No action. Let's keep you going this way. I'll dive one more time. And that way we're safe from any um, any gunfire. We will need to put the um, uh, the that, that, that submarine for repairs though. Russia helping destroyed is not a good thing. Or are they zigzagging now? Mm, actually, if they're zigzagging, then that's not going to be so good for us. Hopefully they're not, and I'll we'll start coming back. Come on, you know you want to. There's a submarine that just surfaced and fired its gun at you. And now that you've fired something back, it's decided to run away. Go, come and finish it off. No, they're not. I think they're trying to zigzag away. So that means I'm going to have to do something I don't usually like to do. And that is... I will have to surface... Well, not full-on surface, just slightly surface. Fire a torpedo or, 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 or several. Triton's going back for repairs anyway, so actually I could let loose theoretically much more torpedoes than I usually would do. Right, well. Well, what's the suggested bearing? It's 335.3, .3, which would put it right about here. I'll put one over here, and then I'll put one at 8.3 maybe? I'll put one at 8.3, should do 3.3 or not, no 1.3 sorry. Uh, Stan's probably going to clear it, but just in case. And then if, if they decide to just... Well, actually, no, would the Stan clear this? Just in case it does, let's do one at 2.2 as well. Hey, look at me. I'm like the AI. Firing a spread of four torpedoes at a destroyer. Well, 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 would you look at that. Well, fire those away. I'm hoping at least one of them hits. That way the... Well, at least they'll be damaged. Although preferably sunk. Oh, stop, stop, stop! Oh. Come on, here come the torpedoes. Alright, so the outer two hit them. guessing that they're going to be disengaging or are they going to explode for us? They've got a list and they've got a list Annoyingly though their speed is still very high How are we doing? 4,200 Let's go hard port. We're at three thousand eight hundred. I'm going to fire another four. I think it's the best I can do. Suggested bearing is three four three point two. Three four three point two.
Annoyingly, they survive two torpedo strikes. And again, we'll just do two degree increments, I think. Now, they will be turning away, most likely. 3.2, so I'll do a... I'll do a 6.2. Wait, is that three degrees or not? Six point three, three point two, nine point two. Then and I'm tempted to just hold one torpedo back. Yeah, go on. Let's fire three this time. Ugh, seven torpedoes fired at a destroyer. How embarrassing. But they're at long range. Well, not long range. Oh, here we go. Well, we got, we got another two into them. So it took four torpedoes to sink the Z-19. Oh, we did it, and we did it without the, um, the method I always use, which is to get them to close into point blank range. As you can see, it took seven torpedoes in total to sink them, which is why I always like to do it when they're really close. That way, it takes two as opposed to seven. Seeing as they're going under quickly, we can just stay and watch them go under. And there they go. That is it for the Z19. Right, where are we? Oh, are we over here? Yes. The destroyed pressure hull. Nevertheless, you did what had to be done. Oh wow, action reports. On the British side, the submarine Thetis ends with no damage. The submarine Triton ends with heavy damage. And on the German side, the destroyer Z-19 was sunk for 2,800 tons. Nothing sunk in either Br in either side on well in either category on the British side. Just about warship tons sunk on the German side two thousand eight hundred. Merchant ship tons sunk on the German side zero two thousand eight hundred were now earned. So Triton has to head back to scupper flow for repairs immediately. Well, there's inner one and decoy out. didn't find anything in Iceland, so we'll send the Blanche back to the Erminger Sea. Have a look at the Thetis. How many torpedoes do you have? It's it's eight. Do you know what? Send the Thetis back as well and get it get the submarine reloaded as well. Scarpa Flow is now very vulnerable to an air attack. We've got the battleship in there, a destroyer and both submarines. Oof, right. It is an airstrike, but it's we're the ones causing the damage and it's you know it's good for us basically. Bay of Biscay, Allied bombers attack the naval base at Brest Lorient causing heavy damage. Current repairs delayed by four towns in week two of September nineteen forty one. So we've got more ships out. Let's send the Thetis right back up. And let's send the Boreas back to the western approaches. And these two can basically just sit and wait for the um, the Robin to come out. Although, to be honest, I wouldn't exactly object to Rodney staying here for a long time. Oh yes, I, I forgot to move this destroyer about. There we go, we can keep moving the Jervis around. West Greenland Sea, Allied convoy attacked by submarines, 76,990 tons of merchant shipping sunk in week 3 of September 1941. Gosh, they're doing really big attacks now. I don't like that particularly. Seeing as it was a fairly big attack, 
Yeah, let's send the beagle in. Maybe they'll be able to sniff something out there, perhaps. Nope, nothing at all. Right, uh, let's send the Triton up to the East Greenland Sea then. Keep the destroyer here for now though. Let me keep it there for now, just in case they decide to try and come back. Oh, there are convoyers down here. Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! How am I supposed to protect all those? How many squares are there with convoys then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. There's twenty-three areas with convoys in them. Oh my gosh, um... Well that changes things, doesn't it? Right, up, strategy update. Jervis will keep in this general area. I might just keep her in Angola and that way if anything happens we can pivot north or south or just stay, stay here in this area. I am right in saying, am I not, that this, these two, are a darker shade than these two. Either that or my mind is playing tricks on me. I'm also convinced that these two are a darker shade of blue than these up here. So what I'm going to do is slightly revamp my positioning of my warships. What I will do is I will let me just think how this would work. Uh, Oh, this will be a little bit complicated. Um, you, Brazen comes down here. Beagle comes down here. Azinibwan and Decoy go into here. Uh, Boreas and Saint Laurent go across to here. Blanche and Saint Genet go here. And that means, yeah, that means brilliant can. Oh, actually. Actually, yeah, we can have both covered at once, yeah. Uh, what have we got over here? 3W plus. Uh, right. Um, so Jackal can come down immediately. Vanessa can come down here immediately. Vanity can come down here. And Brilliant can come across to here. Yeah, I think that's yeah. I think that's I think that's better now. I think that, that that's that looks better now. Can we move the Jervis? No we can't. Right, and then what will we do with the Rodney once once she's out? We'll probably take her away from Scarp Flow, seeing as the Germans have airports there, it seems. Yeah, we'll send her somewhere down into the Atlantic down there. Central Atlantic, Allied merchants attacked by submarines, 56,630 tons of merchant shipping sunk in week 4 of September 1941. Ah, you see. I told you we needed a destroyer in this area. Let's send the Jaguar in. And now part two of the great move. 
It's not really a great move as such. We need to have two ships in here and in here. So it's time for another complicated movement. Uh, let me see. Beagle and Brazen. When Rodney comes out, she'll go immediately to a place where, where there are destroyers, by the way. I haven't forgotten about her. Beagle and Brazen, you can head down here. As anyone and decoy move across to here. Uh, Boreas and Saint Laurent go across down to here. Blanche and Saint Genet head over here. Brilliant heads down here. And that way we should have a VW class and one other in both of these sectors, which we do. Alright, good. That's that's fine, yes. Uh huh. Jervis meanwhile can move up here to Angola and basically stay there. Yep, I think that'll 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 do it for now. We're in October nineteen forty one by the way now, so that's also something noteworthy. Right, North Central Atlantic, Allied merchant attacks by submarines, 41,110 tons of merchant shipping sunk in week 0 0.5 of October 1941. Oh, you're annoying me now. Really forcing me to, be, to spread myself thinly like this. Um, how long has this episode been going on for, by the way? I think it could be about half an hour. Let me check. My recorder says 27 minutes. So what I will say is that that'll be all from Admiral Playerovsky for this video. If you enjoy the content, if you're enjoying the series, then please do leave a like and subscribe. It's great motivation for me to keep making these videos. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye for now. Remember to share the channel with people who you think might enjoy the content.